Okay, let's check. Warp. Warp drive active. Okay, and here we go. We are still in our noob ship, so we have to get really close. We will get uh, better ships later. But for now, since I want to show you how to start and how to do the first missions and everything, we will just uh, yeah stay in the ships that uh, CCP hands us and just go with it. Our range is still something like 1000 to 2000 meters and the damage should be fine. Okay, and here comes the damage. Since I already skilled uh, some of the gunnery stuff in this skill tree, uh, we will do some more damage and yeah, hit them uh, for more damage and hit them more often. So uh, yeah, this also helps. If you just start today or something like this, your damage will be a bit lower. But for these uh, first career missions, that doesn't really matter. They are designed the way. So uh, basically everyone can do them. As you can see, uh, we are now a lot faster with this uh, stuff, but the uh, enemies will uh, get a little bit tougher later when we go along with the storyline. So we will have to see, but we will get new ships and we will also get stronger, so we should be fine. It will take us a couple months to uh, go to level <coughs> sorry to level four missions or something like this. But for now we will just do the career uh, agents, improve our standing and then we will work ourselves to level one mission go from there. And because of CCP physics, of course, we bump uh, into this asteroid since uh, this is just a visual um, space between the two. And this is actually uh, for the physics engine one big uh, yeah, pile of asteroids. <coughs> so we need to fly over. But that's just. I hope we can now at least uh, fly around this. Okay. 
Look at those new shiny thruster effects. They are really nice. Okay, downtime in one hour, that uh, give us some space, some time to do something. And then I might get back uh, after downtime, but we will <laughs> have to see. I have done some uh, rainbow siege matches lately because uh, this seems to be the flavor uh, of the month and maybe I will do a quick stream of that later so let's check if done with the mission checked so we should and let's get back Warp drive active. So, I have transferred some uh, ISK from another account of mine to this one, so we have some ISK to spare and to do some stuff, so we don't have to wait uh, so long for everything. I will just have to check if I have already bought the uh, building skills and everything and add them also so I can show you how you can uh, build stuff in EVE Online. Docking permission requested. But Docking we can do that when we are... Docking permission okay. requested. Just finished the mission, we completed. And we got a new gun as a reward, the Gatling and some ammunition. Quite nice, so let's remove the mining laser and it also need to put the ammo in our cargo so we can use it and this should uh, increase our damage uh, by a lot. Okay, so let's check the market. Oh, we will get a new ship. Okay, that's nice. But before we start, we just check the market real quick. Oh, the skills. We will need to still... Well, of course, we need to start with. Mass production is nice uh, when you need more stuff. Since um, normally you can only buy one <coughs> item at a time, but that's not that I am looking for and uh, maybe CCP changed this but we can also check the mining skills then since we will do some mining later down the road well let's start with them we already have mining two so we need my upgrades yeah okay Good. We will look into the processing skills and salvaging later. Processing efficiency. Also, production skill for this. 
maybe CCP changed this around. Uh, has been some time that I have done manufacturing, so they might have switched it around to a different skill tree. I will look into this um, offline and let's get back into action, but not before I mining to level four into the skill tree. We can do some mining later. Let's check if we have a large skill. One. Oh, okay, they are already here. Up one. That oh. Two. We got one. Big word. And start with real quick. That's it equal to a couple levels so we can actually it a bit sooner and let's have a quick look we can put shield management a bit down mining to level four is also not that important That looks so let's get back to the mission Warp drive active. since we are not using the civilian uh, one that uh, doesn't need ammo we actually have to load the ammo into the weapon Oh, and then let's check uh, what we have. Okay, with EMP as ammunition, we have still a fall off of 4000. This uh, adds nicely with our blaster that we have here. So if we stay into something like 2k, we should be fine. Closer, which brings us to the next skills that we have to skill uh, that are the targeting skill tree and most important the long range targeting which we can squeeze in real quick so we can uh, targeting targets that are further away Because actually we have to wait uh, until we are five kilometers, and then we can. Else by asteroid. So technically, if we bookmark this, uh, we could also mine this later. We will do this later when we. <coughs> Sorry, when we actually have a mining frigate. And then we can actually mine uh, the asteroid seed. And as you can see, uh, we are doing really quick work of them. 
And this T1 uh, Gatling auto cannon is doing a lot of damage to them. The civilian versions are designed just to start. They don't use ammo. They don't do a lot of damage. But if you improve to at least the T1 versions of everything, then uh, at least with these starter ships, uh, you can do work of them. They are not really a threat anymore. But still, you can see how everything works. You need to load ammo into the <coughs> into the weapons and everything. So it is nice to just get the hang out of the game. You can use the orbiting function of the game so you are always kind of close enough to do damage stuff like this and we actually look ah we should be rescued the civilians right i almost forgot this i said really should we closer okay so we got the civilians We should be fine. Warp drive active. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Mission. And then we get two more auto cannons. So, uh, yeah, will be nice. But let's just fit this ship real quick. Since if I remember correctly, we should get the slasher as a new ship. And now let's have a quick look. E <coughs> T1 auto cannons. Let's check how many slots it has. It has sweet two and high point, so we already fit. <coughs> <coughs> I apologize, guys. I'm still a bit sick, as you can hear. And um, yeah, we have three uh, of the T1 version, so we used all of our two and hard points. Um, we will get stuff for the mid and the low points, and of course, wigs later down the road. So let's just stick with it. And continue with our mission. And let's load the ammo into the Ah, don't have all of them and since we will be shooting everything at one target we can uh, stack this you can um, do this by unclicking lock modules in place and then just do uh, warp them to other and as you can see we don't have enough uh, ammunition for 
all of the weapons to load them fully we need to buy uh, some more ammo later which can bring us to a little bit of business if we uh, get a BPO for the ammunition and start building them for ourselves we can even uh, sell it in this uh, you can call it mission hub but um, yeah it's just for starting characters and they will move out of here quickly but still we can make some isk by this and for us hopefully uh, other people have already done it so we have some ammo to buy which i <coughs> wanted to check and yeah there's already plenty of ammunition available so we just have to get back to station later hopefully we have enough ammo get this just oh okay we already have the uh, secret documents that we are supposed to get target um if the if we can get some ammunition from these guys uh, we don't have to buy so much but i'm not really sure if they are designed uh, to drop something the uh, normal npcs in the missions are designed to actually give you some loot so we so you can uh, get ammunition weapons and basic stuff from them also but these guys uh, don't uh, always drop it just these grabbing bone real quick as you can see uh, we now have three of uh, the t1 weapons and uh, yeah we basically one shot uh, everything since we are not in the noob ship uh, anymore or in the starting ship uh, this t1 version is already a lot stronger and this guy just failed on us so let's get back and get some ammunition since these missions really uh, go quick i think we can finish a couple others before we move on to something else check if someone might even um Docking sure requested. which category the mining that's the the t the t twos yes the event okay and there's even one in this station but we can't fly it let's check mining free Level one, I'm pretty sure I added this. And if we go to level one, okay. Orton, so let's get this now. And by tomorrow we actually can buy it and fit it and then we do some mining. But I was at the market not to look at ships. A bit more ammo. Carbonized heat actually increases our optimal range. Uh, this will help us a lot since we don't need to get that closer to everything. Let's start with 5000 rounds. That should be enough for now. And that is also the cheapest ammunition. Okay, okay. And then... And we get an afterburner next. Which is nice so we can get closer.
After the afterburners, uh, there's also the next level, um, the micro orb drives, which are a lot faster, but we will get to this <coughs> later. But for now, let's get our first afterburner, which will already help us a lot. But we need to look at our capacitor since uh, when we activate it, we will burn through our capacitor really quick. There are some modules to uh, help with that, but... Approach the target. Since we are in the free grid, we are already really fast, uh, almost 500 meters per second, so this approaching here should be really fast. And should be done with it. Okay, now we are done. Docking request accepted. I hope the gaming sound uh, is not too quiet. I uh, can turn it up a bit. But I just want to make sure that you can hear me uh, more clearly when I talk. This. Okay. The burner. Okay. Let's do one. First, let's the afterburner. We also got a civilian deflection field. This is um, a shield module that increase our explosive uh, damage resistance and see here so if someone shoot at us uh, we will take less damage it is the civilian one so it doesn't take uh, that many capacitor away from us the afterburner actually is a regular t11 one um, but even if we use all of the modules that we fitted uh, to our ship Yes, yeah, still cap stable. This uh, shows us that we will stay at 63% cap, so we can add a couple more modules to the ship. Okay, have ammo, so let's. Since uh, this module actually is an active one, this means that you have to activate it before uh, something changes. Let's have a quick look at the fitting screen. We now have 50% explosive damage resistance. Let's activate the module, which uh, add another, which brings us to 68. Because 50 plus uh, 35 are 68, but that's not uh, how CC counts it, so yeah. You can google the uh, obscure uh, stuff, how CCP... Uh... ...counts this. Check, should we... ...kill him.
instructions and report back to your agent. Well, um, yeah, we followed his instruction, kind of. Back and hopefully we didn't up too much. As you can see, uh, you kind of need to pay attention to what you are supposed to do, uh, which I fail miserably. But docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. We actually finished it. Okay. So are we supposed to destroy the out? Interesting, and we will get an implant uh, for our character as a reward. But first, let's do this. Maybe. When you dog, undog, or stuff like this, um, the modules get uh, kind of reset, so you always need to activate it. Basically, you can say uh, every time you change uh, the session, this also appears if you uh, jump to a sewer stargate, or a wormhole, or a titan bridge for later, or stuff like this. Uh, your modules uh, are turned off. Okay. Good. As you can see, this uh, explosion deflection field has this shield uh, effect around our ship that appears every couple seconds. So you can uh, you get a visual feedback that it. So normally these acceleration gates are locked until you destroy all of the NPCs uh, in the area, which we will uh, we do. Our range is still... Can our afterburner to get uh, close to... Oh. And as you can see, when our afterburner is active, our speed goes up to almost a thousand. The only problem is that our um, not targeting our, our weapons um, can get some issues uh, tracking the enemy. So you, we might do more damage if we deactivate the. Uh, Afterburner for the career uh, agent NPCs. This is not really an issue, but if you later do PP or we do some higher level missions, we look at this. So we might have to reactivate it so we have a better tracking. Okay, and. Now I deact weapon and I actually need to pay at least a little bit attention to what I am doing. But at least uh, you can enjoy my failing at As you can see, well, they are not really harder, but uh, sometimes we have at least shoot uh, two times at them. Depending on what our tracking, what our speed on the, and their speed is. It's 
so we cannot always just one shoot them which will also increase when we move away from the t1 versions to a meta version or stuff like this okay they are gone now so we should be able to Okay, let's check. Telling us, they are telling us. Autos, let have a quick overview. Did we? Look up. The work. Here's the outpost, okay. And we are supposed to buy it. And it deployed some sentry guns. Actually a bit late for this since we already killed it. Okay, that's not contraband. Wrap it, we can sell it. As you can see, those sentries are actually doing quite a bit of damage to us. So I need to bound a bit so the uh, tracking of them getting a bit uh, down on let's reload as you can see we now use a different kind of ammunition and uh, our optimal and fall off uh, is now a bit higher so if you run into situations where you uh, okay um it it can be um important that you uh switch ammunition to a different type so you can actually track and um apply damage to your enemy i'm sorry guys i'm just a little bit distracted uh, as you might uh, notice i'm still a bit sick But since it's already uh, has been so long that I was online uh, last time, I just wanted to hop back in, do some missions with you, and I hope you still enjoy it. Far away from the gun, so I... Real quick, with uh, optimal range about 1000, we... As you can see, our damage uh, increases we were at 10 uh, when I was farther away, and now we are 40, then 4 times the damage. And as you can see, we uh, killed a couple of the other ships, and our shields are starting to regenerate.
close to him. And that should... Warp drive active. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Oh. Real quick. And let's drop the stuff and sell it later. Uh, we don't need the S. Let's stick carbonite. Okay. Okay, guys. I think uh, that was it for now. Uh, <coughs> Um, sorry, we are approaching downtime and um, we will continue with this later. I might get uh, back online uh, for some Rainbow Six Siege or stuff like this. Or maybe we do another uh, couple missions of EVE Online. But as you can see, we already did uh, six missions since he offered us the seventh now. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, you learned something, and uh, yeah, let's see us later. <laughs>